Well, I forgot the clicker. Clicker's buried out in the cabin, out in the, uh, what we call the hot box out there. And uh, eventually, we'll get the clicker. In the meantime, anybody's welcome for a children's story. And what we're going to talk about today is dirty feet. Dirty feet. I'll tell you, I have a special little mat in my shower, and I take a, a little bit of a... Uh, uh, body wash and I squirt it on this little mat it's only this big and it's got looks like carpet but it's made of plastic and it's real rough put that on my feet and then I go <laughs> and I get my feet all scrubbed on the bottom all right but dirty feet are a serious problem if you live somewhere where you only wear sandals and that's the way it was in the time of Jesus' day, is they didn't have a lot of closed-toed shoes. They wore nice sandals, and they had some dirty feet. Some just from sand, and some like this on the bottom. Did your feet ever get like that? Oh, my. That's for people that love to go barefoot. Love to go barefoot. They can get that way. But the Bible says for clean... Whoops. Well, that's a nice preview of everything, all the way to the end. My husband knows how to make that go right back to the beginning, but I do not, so try not to lean on this again. Well, now you don't have to watch the sermon because you've seen it. In reverse, that's so funny. In order for feet to get clean, they have to be washed, right? They have to be washed. So for clean feet, they must be washed. And um, we have some things that we do in our church because Jesus told us to, and we call it foot washing. Well, I want to tell you one time about foot washing. I was in, up in Ohio. I was in Ohio where we had snow. And we don't wear sandals in January in Ohio. We wear shoes that have toes and heels. And these shoes that I had were um, kind of like, I don't know, they sort of like, they weren't velvet, but they were sort of, they were suede. They were black suede shoes. And somehow, walking through the um, water or through the snow, I forget, the black suede got on my feet. But I didn't know it. And up there, when we have foot washing in church, people don't take off their their stockings they just get their feet washed with their stockings on and we always call it I always think it's more important foot drying service than foot washing service so you don't want to go back with your stockings back into your shoes so I put my foot into the water the water turned black because the suede dye from my shoe was on my stocking and it went from my stocking into the water and I was like what on earth and then it dawned on me, it's from the shoes, it's on your stockings, and the water's all black. Oh, well, guess if you got dirty feet and it's foot washing, you got to get them, get them washed. It was one of the only times I really brought dirty feet to the foot washing service. Because most of us, knowing we're going to have foot washing, we wash our feet real good before we come for foot washing. And it happens in the bathtub or it happens in the shower, be night before, whichever. And our feet aren't really dirty. But when they traveled in the um, New Testament times, the streets weren't very um, clean. And so people got dirty feet. And so today we're going to talk about in the sermon a little bit about dirty feet. But I want you to think of two verses that are about lovely feet. Okay? How shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful, can you see the screen? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And I thought that was pretty cool. Those beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel. Romans 10, verse 15. You see everybody wrote on their feet? Yes, because they got beautiful feet. These are some lovely feet. Some very lovely feet. And then Isaiah 52 says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of them of him that brings good tidings, that publishes peace, that brings good tidings of good 
and the New King James says, of good things. Did you ever have any good news you bring to somebody? That means your feet are beautiful. And what's the best news that we can bring that publishes salvation, that says unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Now you know why we're having special music together. So at this time, I'm going to call up my minute helpers, Elder Donovan and his two lovely daughters. And they're going to help us because you're going to sing with me, uh, my, Our God Reigns, okay? Our God Reigns. And that's going to be our special music, but we want to see, come on, come on. I'll give you this one. Is there another one? I don't know if you ever sang that song, Our God Reigns, but I, and I don't know if you ever thought about foot washing when you, when you gave that, when you sang that song, but the, the beginning of it is from the Isaiah 52, verse 7. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news. Now, Brother Donovan, I can't see what's on the screen, so you tell me what's up there. How lovely on the mountains. Okay, so the first part of the verse, we're going to sing this through twice as our special music together and the end of our um, children's story. Um, I'm going to play an introduction. <laughs> some sticker books. Everybody gets a sticker book or a coloring book. That one you have to have your colors to make it work. Which one would you like? Is there one here you like? Oh, oh, don't do your book yet. Wait, wait. Here, go ahead and take that one. Are you guys okay? You got enough? Got what we want? I, I bet we do. You listen, even though you didn't come up. We're so glad you're here. I take that one too, okay? Something to do while you're at church. But you gotta listen. 
Because today, if you can remember to think about every time I say feet, that would be very good, okay? All right. Um, let's have a prayer and go back to our seats. Michaela, hey, would you pray for us today? Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for our time together. And please bless these young people to grow up strong for you because we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here for story time.